long as you pay it forward. Yes, exactly. Lori Wallace has all the details for us this morning. Good morning, Lori. You guys, the Zinnia patch, I love it out here. We kind of are in the middle of nowhere, but let me tell you what, it's worth the drive. Take a look around all of these beautiful Zinnias, all different varieties, all different colors, and the flower guy himself is out here clipping away for me. And what I love most is kind of how this whole thing came about, because this all started as a result of something that you and your family kind of started many years ago. So kind of give the backstory on this farm. Uh, eight or nine years ago, we had a, a party, and at the end of the party, we had a bunch of vases. And one of my daughters suggested, Kaylin suggested that we take the vases to a rest home. We took the vases the following morning to a rest home. Uh, we got such nice responses from the people in the rest homes through notes or thank you cards. And uh, I thought, gee whiz, if we could bring that much, that much uh, joy to a few people with vases, why don't we plant some flowers? specifically for that reason. Plant some flowers. You guys take a look at what he's done out here. There so are pretty. so many flowers and this all came about after that visit to that rest home when they realized just how much of a difference a flower can make. So you can come out here, bring your buckets, your vases, your clippers, cut as many as you want, but you do have one rule. Yeah, you have to cut for somebody else too. <laughs> you can cut for you or your children or your spouse, but you also have to cut vases for someone who can't cut for themselves like and take cut. it to that someone. Isn't that nice? What a nice gesture. And the whole idea behind it is if they could do that for that one time to make that one delivery and see such a difference, if each of us could do something like that, what a difference we could make. So let's talk about the flowers that you have out here because you mentioned a lot of different varieties. They're all zinnias. Yeah, they're all zinnias. Uh, I do have one row of gladiolis that a local grower gave me probably 200 bulbs. But basically, we are raising zinnias. Zinnias are multicolored. They're uh, they're the friendship flower. I was told that by somebody. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Friendship flower, and uh, they're easy to grow. Easy to grow. They need a lot of sunlight and a lot of water. Yeah, easy to keep alive, guys. That's the thing, right? Easy to keep alive. <laughs> uh, we don't all have such a great green thumb back over there. Good day. So when people come on out here, they're free to walk around, take as many flowers as they want, and buckets, vases, whatever they want to bring. Oh yeah, they can't keep up with it. <laughs> As you can see, there's been literally uh, thousands of people out here, uh, and the flowers just keep producing and giving. But there is a time frame because these flowers will only last for so long. So when is the best time for people to come out here to the farm? Well, uh, I would suggest everybody being out here by the uh, early week in September. Um, it would be by that time we would want to start taking them out. Okay, and the exact location because you are off the beaten path out here. Yeah, it's 12, 4, 10. County Road 99, Woodland. Okay, well, let's come on over here. We're going to walk back this way. I'm going to surprise Steve and have him walk backward through the through the farm real quick. Uh, we have the vases up over here, and you can see these nice little arrangements that you can put together with the zinnias. Again, one for yourself, and as many as you can take for someone else who can't make it out here uh, on their own. A little delivery, sweet little surprise, oh. and lift someone's spirits. What That's a great nice. idea, huh? Yeah, that is beautiful. Lovely. Thank you very much, Lori <laughs> Wallace. Well, today.